Hello, focus, focus phone. Hello everybody, and this is Robert, my new pet slug. I don't know how life he's been how long he's been alive, but seems pretty nice. And today I will teach you how to care for a slug. This phone won't freaking focus. And yeah. There he is. See hey, Robert. See Robert. See hey. Hey. He's a little shy baby. Now here's his cage. So. Okay. So the first thing that I always put is flowers. Flowers. And leaves. Make sure that the leaves are, um, like, yeah. maybe, like, greenish and kind of decaying. Because they like to eat these kind of leaves. Stop doing that. Let's wait. Come on over here. Okay. Now, I also put this little flower bed for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe I'm hoping that they can, like, make other flowers. And then... They like to eat the king fruits and veggies. So I just um, cut up a small piece of carrot and I gave him a little shaving. Earlier earlier today he ate some lettuce leaves that were decaying and stuff. And he ate a lot of them so I just, he ate most of it. So I just threw, threw those away and then put this in here for tomorrow. Put them for him for tomorrow. Because tomorrow I have to go to school and I don't really I check on him and stuff. And I put about an inch or two of soil in this container. It seems like it's good for him, and I really like him. Um, snails actually don't really have a gender. They can switch between genders. So, yeah. Also, before you get a snail, do your research, please. For the love of God, do your research. Because you, you don't want to be feeding your snail salt, because everyone knows that that kills them. They die from dehydration. Like, no one wants to die from dehydration. So, um, this is pretty much what you have right now. Also, um, another thing. Once a week, once every week, um, change, um, clean your slug's cage. Like, replace the soil. Get new leaves. And every day, before you go to sleep, replace the food. Okay? And also, um, two times a day, um... Get a water bottle and spray your slug's cage because um, you don't want him getting um, unmoisturized because they rely on water and they like to live in nice good swampy areas with, with good soil. Make sure that the soil is nice and loose kind of and it has like little twigs and stuff, moss. It doesn't have to be moss. It's like some grass, like anything that they can hide under. And, um, sorry, my mom came in my room and I was like, what? <laughs> so, um, another thing is, um, I have a common keel, I have a common keel keeled slug or something like that um yeah i'm still doing my research but i did a couple of pages on him i observed him i like did like a checklist on what he needs i watched a couple of other people's videos so yeah <laughs> there's not really much you need to put so Here he is. Say hi, Robert. Why does it always blur out when they come to you? Stop blurring it. Nope. <laughs> Somebody make brownies with peanut butter mixed in them? Oh, shoot. No, don't go on my shirt, bro. Don't go on my shirt. Come on.
me if you want to get your cage. Oh, and never use a water disc because they're not going to drink out of that and they might drown. So now um, I'm just going to be resetting up my cage. So after I put the soil in, obviously make sure there's snails in there um, when, this, when you're putting in new soil. Now, um, a little spray of stuff and stuff. And you just want to put in the leaves now. Do 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 and plus, he might um, eat the flowers. Slugs are, con are considered pests because they eat your garden. <laughs> they eat your garden. Yes, sir, they eat your garden. So, yeah. If you want to keep a slug as a pet, sure. They live one to five years. So, you can have a good time loving these dudes. Just don't forget about them. Okay. Quiet, Mom! That's why you make on work. <laughs> Just kidding. So, bye. See you next video. Uh.